In this lecture, we're going to take a look at the overall iBooks Author user interface. So let's start by launching iBooks Author. And you'll see that the first thing that you're presented with is a template chooser. We're going to spend more time with the template chooser later on, but for now, let's go ahead and select the basic template to start with. When you open a project in iBooks Author, you're presented with the main window, which shows you everything that you need to create your book. Now, the overall interface follows the basic design principles of Apple's iWork suite. So if you're familiar with Keynote or Pages, you're going to feel right at home. And even if you're a Microsoft PowerPoint or Office user, the interface is actually pretty easy to get. So along the top, we have the application menu bar for iBooks Author. And you can use the menu bar to choose various commands or perform tasks. You'll note that some of these commands have a keyboard shortcut listed next to them. As you get more familiar with iBooks Author, learning these shortcut commands can greatly add to your efficiency. Now let's go back to the main window, and along the top we have our toolbar. And the toolbar gives you one-click access to many of the tools and the controls that you're going to use when you're creating a book. Now, as you get to know which actions you perform the most, you can add or remove or rearrange toolbar items to suit your working style. So the way that you do that is by going to the view menu and selecting customize toolbar. And then it's just a matter of dragging items onto the toolbar. Okay. And if you want to go back to the default toolbar, you can simply select this group down at the bottom and just drag and drop it onto your toolbar to go back to the default. So I'll go ahead and click done. And right underneath the toolbar, we have the format bar. And the format bar is a context sensitive area. So depending on what you have selected in your content, you're going to have different options presented to you. So for example, if I go ahead and select some text, I can see that I have options like font and size and color that are related to a text object. If I go ahead and select an image, you can see that I now have options for formatting the image. So things like um, a just image panel can be brought up or I can create a mask and so forth. So below the format bar along the left hand side is the sidebar. And the sidebar is of course where all of our chapters, our sections, or, or the content of our book resides. But we also have the book pane that actually allows you to access the various elements of your book including your, your cover, your intro media, your table of contents, and so forth. And the big window, the big area on the right hand side, this is where obviously we're going to do all of the work. We're going to create and customize our content. Now there are a number of floating panels that can be brought up uh, as needed and you can access those by clicking on the four icons on the right hand side of the toolbar. So we have the inspector palette and we're going to actually spend a lot of time taking a look at all of the different inspectors. So there's a text inspector related to text, there's a, a graphic inspector, there's a metrics inspector. So we're actually going to be spending quite a bit of time here. So this is definitely the most important panel that you can access, uh, but certainly you can click the media button and have access to a media panel. So you can bring in photos, videos, and audio from your library. Um, you can also bring up a set of colors and you can bring up a floating fonts palette. Okay, and we can go ahead and just remove those for now. Okay, so uh, the last thing that I'm going to show you here is that there is something called a styles drawer that becomes very important when we're customizing the look and feel of our project. And you can see that when I selected view, show styles drawer, it actually popped in from the right hand side. If I move my window to the right and go to view, show styles drawer, you'll see that it actually pops over to the left. So depending on how you have your main window placed within uh, your desktop, you might have the uh, styles drawer appear on the left or the right. Okay, so now that we're better acquainted with the basic user interface of iBooks Author, let's move on to the next lecture.